okay, you're going to use the skill of uh, the calculator skill of finding uh, the angle measure uh, using the second button on the calculator. But this says find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. So here are the steps. Identify the trig function needed. Okay. So in this case, notice what we have. We have here's the theta right here. Well, we have the opposite. Here's the hypotenuse. They don't give us that. Here's the adjacent. So that's clearly the tangent. And I'm going to put theta instead of question mark. So that's opposite over adjacent. Well, that's 17 over 42. Boom. So you have that. Well, now you're going to type this value, that tangent. You're going to use that information of the tangent of the theta uh, using the second button on the calculator. So these are the steps. You're going to type this in. Make sure that the calculator is in degree mode. So second tangent. 17 fraction button 42 or divide 42 right parentheses enter and this is round to the nearest degree so that degree is about 22 so that theta is about 22 degrees and notice I put the wavy uh, let's see okay and then find the measure of each side indicated. I'll go ahead and just stay with this, this. So we have the angle. Now we need to find the side. So again, identify the needed trig function. So in this case, what we're focusing on, here's the theta. We'll look at what they gave us. Opposite. And what we're finding is the hypotenuse. Well, opposite over hypotenuse, that's sine. Okay, so we can get rid of that. The next step, after we've identified, is set up the ratio. So sine of 52 degrees is 6 over opposite over hypotenuse. So 6 over x. Now you're just going to use your algebra skills to solve. And so there's a couple things that you could have done. You could have cross multiplied, could have canceled by multiplying by x, multiplying by x. Well, then you would just simply divide both sides by sine of 52, which is what I did over here. So, and when you divide this side, you're going to get x is equal to 6 divide the sine 52, which is what we have right here. And then this is what you're going to type into the calculator, just like this. Uh, 6 divide, left parentheses, sine 52, right parentheses, right parentheses, enter. And this has rounded the nearest tenth. So x is about 7.6 units. Even though on the, this paper itself they didn't say, every time that you are giving an answer and it's a distance or it's a measurement of some length or area or something, you always label it with a unit. Okay, that's it for finding a missing angle, a degree measure, and a missing side using trig functions.